Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zephyr Sonic for TGN.TV, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. So, in the last episode, we took on the Ultra Ball in the Poke Cup, and we defeated it, so now we're gonna be going against the hardest level now that we've unlocked it, the Master Ball. So yeah, so I've only raised still just these two, um, I mean, I've got a team of six on yellow, but these two are still the only ones at 50 at the moment, because I they were high priority on my list to, uh, train. But I'm only gonna be using my Alakazam again this time. So let's see, we're gonna be using, um... Malakazam, Nido King, Gengar, uh, Starmie, and of course some of these uh, trainers can use the legendaries like Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno. So, yeah, um, go with. Zapdos and, uh... Now we just need a fire type here. Special 98. Yeah, be a Charizard. So let's go! against the Master Ball in the Poke Cup. So first off is the Spiker Dude. Pretty much in this battle, it's really all gonna be about one. If you've got uh, Jinx, um, it might take you an extra hit, depending on if you get a critical or not, but, uh, I mean, yeah, it's just really all about one for this. So for me, it's gonna be Alakazam, uh, Charizard and Neo King. It's underway. Pokemon Tournament Poke Cup Master Ball. Who will be the master trainer to win it all? So uh, yeah, I'm doing this again live recording. And the thing in the first gen was that I don't think Alakazam could learn the elemental punches, but from Gen 2 onwards it could. And that's definitely gonna finish my champ. The crits. Because in the first gen, they had the special combined into one. We might be in for a one side of the fair. So if your special got lowered or raised, it would actually raise both or lower both. Hey, this is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Because again, like I said, the special was not split like as it was in Stadium Two Gen Two onward. And that's why attacks seem more powerful, even though they had the same base damage. But because of that splitting of the special attack and defense, that made quite a lot much more difference, like Alakazam's attacks were more powerful. And so yeah, easy first victory, there you go. So yeah, so the first one easily taken care of. And let's go against uh, the Rocker Dude. He's got three electrics. Was that those being electric flying and grass types with Executor being grass psychic? So let's see. It's gonna be Charizard, Nido King, and. Alakazam. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Now come on, let it be a grass type. I just Jolteon. So I definitely need to switch here. Um, oh man. It might 
Well, no. It's gonna have to be, uh, Nido King. Changing Pokemon. That Pokemon must not have been I don't wanna choice. risk it against this Jolteon. Oh yeah, there you go, Thunder. Here's the first move. Oh, the attack missed. Are they testing each other's strength? Yeah, and unfortunately, Nido King doesn't have like Rock Slide or anything, so What's that? if he sends out Zapdos, Whoa, there's gonna like really be man. nothing okay, Nido King go. can do except Rage. So yeah, not too wow. good. What will the next Pokemon be? Nido or uh, Nido King's Earthquake is oh, practically the best thing it can do. How will the type difference affect that? And so for Executor, it's gonna be Charizard now. The trainer's changing Pokemon. What's Ex Executor gonna do? Yeah, Stun Sport. Definite. Wow. Nope, Ooh, we got hits. How will this swap affect the outcome? And like I said, in Gen 1 in Stadium, I mean, it was just, it's more common for these trainers to use those kind of paralyzing moves. And paralysis is one of the most common forms of status elements in the first gen wow. in Stadium. And I fortunately got a crit. Executor, if that would have just been a regular super There's effective a hit, in the number of reserve Pokemon. it probably would have hung on. It probably would have did half damage, maybe. Oh, it's Venusaur! The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Because again, the I mean, has become one -sided. you'd be surprised how many of these up in special Pokemon range. can survive certain attacks here in the first gens and whatnot. It's paralyzed on the spot. Fireworks are flying in this battle! Alright, I'm... Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go for a sword stance. Um, he's gonna keep pumping up his special, it's which... On its which is also gonna pump up his, uh, special attack and defense because... It's not split, so I'm... I went for the sword stance, because I'm gonna fly. But the only bad thing is that if I fly and I get fully paralyzed the next turn, then, uh... He'll go right back down. So, we get up there. Now we just have to make the attack work. No fully paralysis, no fully paralyzed. Yes, we got it off. Now we just have to connect. Yes, that's Venusaur definitely is not going to take that. Because of the Sword's Dance, so there's Battle 2. Yeah, so two perfects, which means two continues, and now we're off to battle number three against the Juggler. To be honest, though, like with the Poke Cup, I mean, I think they're all the same trainers, like the last trainer being the old man and the first one. It, 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 it it's all the same, pretty much. So for this battle. It's like, yeah, you face the same trainers, just with different Pokemon and stuff. So yeah, so for this one, it's going to be... Alakazam. Zapdos, and my Nidoking. The upcoming battle looks promising! We're into round three! And so yeah, Jinx is going to start, and unfortunately, well, it's going to have to be my psychic backs. That's all I can do. Here's the first move. It's not very effective. I did some pretty good damage. All right. A <laughs> counter. Awesome counter. That is funny. Oh, the attack missed. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Now, well. Actually, no. I don't understand why you'd use that against Alakazam. Now, that time it seemed like it didn't do as much. 
A lovely oh, kiss. A lovely kiss. Ah. Oh, no, ah. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided fight. Hopefully we can wake up quickly. Yes. <laughs> and another counter. Wow. Retaliation. Miss the target. Retaliation, my another foot. Another one is conceding an inch. Delicious. Keep attacking it. What will it do? And the weak spot. And yeah, I got a crit. And so. But gee, seriously, why counter? Didn't you have like an ice time move or something? What will the next Pokemon be? I mean, Alakazam doesn't have any, oh, it's hardly any physical moves, really. How will the type difference affect that? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a reflect here first. It's more resistant to physical blows. <laughs> Acid armor. Well, this isn't a. This isn't an attacking move. This is purely special, so, uh. What now? No worries there. And I get a crit. Oh, yeah, massive. What's the point of splashing? What's the point of splashing? Oh, that was. That was so embarrassing. What's this? A Snorlax using Splash. That's a good hit. Now I've seen everything. Oh, is it down and out? There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Snorlax, you can't Splash, you know? Or maybe you can. Oh, but I know you the can't learn the move. Pokemon but that's metronome one. for you. The battle has become one side. You can pull off uh, helping moves, or you can pull off... Ah! Not so great moves. Purely by chance. You see, Pokemon like Gengar took that attack really well. I mean, it still did a massive amount of damage, but it still... It still took that really well, And but the thing about Stadium... If that would have been in Stadium 2, I can pretty much guarantee you Alakazam would have taken that out. Because again, when you combine the special and stuff, yeah, it makes things seem like stronger or weaker, I should say, with the combined special. Alright, so I can just simply finish this game. Oh, but he gets to attack first. Jump kick. <laughs> it crashed. And it only did one HP. That was funny. So, uh, that's Battle 3. And there goes the battle! So, so far so good. Me have taken care of the first three without too much of a fight. But again, you not only have to play your cards right, but you also need to... I mean, it also can depend on things like if you get criticals, things of that nature, if they get criticals against you, I mean, that could completely change the game. So, yeah, I mean, props to Nintendo for making this hard. So, battle number four is going to be against, uh, the beauty and three water, t no, four water types with, uh, well, you know, the, the, the split, uh, dual type set, but either way, still water. Um, and weak to electric at that, for that, as that, for that matter. Um, this is going to be Zapdos. Starmie. And. Gengar. The crowd's excitement is building. This is round four. And unfortunately, Rhydon starts so... Ah, that's gonna mean I have to immediately switch out here. Changing Pokémon. That Pokémon must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Starmie! Here's the first move! A decent hit! Now... Fireworks are flying in this battle! Unless she switches, which if she's got a water type, if I was her, I would probably switch. But then again, I've got thunder, so... 
And yeah, so definitely take out right on there. But the crit didn't really matter anyway. Because Starmie special is really good, and so yeah, Surf. Definitely take it out. This battle is still up in the air. Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Huh, <laughs> yes. Paralyzed on the spot. So fully paralyzed. Furious battle. That'll really help me. And it can all come down to hitting critical Here attacks. Thunder. Like Thunder. Blizzard. All those powerful attacks that you might use. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. I mean, this isn't like the Gold, Silver, Crystal series and onwards, where if you missed, you actually had a little bit of a chance. The remaining Pokemon count is Those big attacks. One. The battle has become one-sided. Right, that sir. So we we'll definitely take out the Sand Slash, and uh, well, like that. That's four battles. So, uh, so far, making quick work of this, but, uh, don't want to get too confident. Because, uh, this is the Master Ball, after all. Because uh, coming down to the ladder battles, it's going to get much more difficult. Alrighty, so for this one... He's got three that I could use. Um, it's gonna be Zapdos, Alakazam, and Starmie. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get right hot. Begin round five. All right, so Gengar starts. Um, contemplating. Uh, nah, I'm switching to Alakazam. I think Gengar would have a uh, faster speed than me. Anyway. And Confuse Ray. Well, it's gonna be up to Alakazam to uh, to fight this off. Come on, fight it off. Ah, that's not what we needed to do. All right, just don't lower this. Alright. I was just hoping it didn't lower my special. So yeah, we get that off. And yeah, that'll definitely uh kaboom. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's my thing! Nine tails. Um, well, I believe this nine tails also has confused, right? But because my Alexam is still confused, she's probably not gonna go for it again. So this is gonna be perfect for Starmie. And I ain't risking uh, Alakazam possibly hurting itself again. So, or it could have snapped out of its confusion. But uh, yeah. What will it do? Damage. How will this swap affect the outcome? You will see. Right, that sir. And yeah, there you go, another crit. God, it's a one-hit wonder. So far, I'm not There's really breaking a, a sweat. The number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Hunter. And this bee haunter. I like the color of that uh, nicknamed Honor. So I'm just gonna go with Surf, not risking the thunder, and I get another critical. Now just to ensure that I do get. Another continue. I'm just gonna switch, avoid the whole the confused mess. And we my Zapdos. What now? 
Alright, not bothered by it. I Thunderbolt should still... Should still take it out. Oh, well, he gets to attack first anyway. Alright, Zapdos, come on, can we do it? No. Now, you can't be doing that. I thought Zapdos was gonna get to go first there. What'll it do? A decent hit! Alright, let's see what happens here. Yes! That's a good hit. So that's oh, Battle 5. And there goes the battle! Wow, not really... Not really breaking a sweat here. So let's go after battle number six against the Tamer. Alright, so yeah, like I said, this is going to get a bit harder now. My main concern, well, Snorlax pretty much, um... Definitely start with Alakazam, Stormy, and then we'll go with... Nido King. Field is thinning out. We're into round six. Here's the first move. That is that is that. So yeah, so I mean if you're using all rentals, yeah, definitely go with Jinx. We sh No, we don't. Down already. So we won't get a perfect sweep. Wasn't expecting to, but uh. This is a wild one from the word go. But yeah, I didn't think we'd sweep the whole thing. I have done it before, but not in the stronger cups, though. How will the type difference affect that? Right, that sir. That's one of the keys to getting the surfing Pikachu in round two. I'll mention more about that when I get to it, but uh, is you can't use any continues. We're evenly matched at two Pokemon aside. Neither Pokemon is backing down. Here it comes, Thunder! Definitely, oh, yes. Like a bad Pokemon choice. That was a great help. What's that? It didn't do much damage. Um, should I risk what going for another furious battle? <sighs> no, I'm not gonna risk going for another Thunder, cause uh I mean I could get several turns in, but uh we're just gonna go with Surf. It's not very effective. That's alright, no biggie. And unfortunately, yes, she got a critical, but, uh, I wasn't too worried about it taking it out. Vaporeon isn't, isn't really an attacker. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Arcana! And the thing is, I lost once in the last in the last three parts of this cup, but I had some continues. But uh, I haven't lost any in this one. All right, so she's gonna get my Starmie, and uh. And let's see, who is my last one that I put in effort? All right, Nido King. Um, well, this is a... I think Arcanine is going to definitely get the speed advantage. Um... There's just one Pokemon aside now. Let's see, what are you gonna do? Right Hyper Beam. Alright. I think... Alright, good. Fortunately, no critical, and we should be able to finish it off, so... 
it got close there at the end, but uh, we did it. Oh, Mass Battle 6. Yeah, if that would have been a crit, that probably would have taken out Nido King and I would have lost the first time in this uh, Master Ball of the Poke Cup. So let's go against Battle 7. I guess that's okay. So, okay. He's got Kadabra and Alakazam. Now, like I said, this is going to be difficult, so, yes. And unfortunately, even for Zapdos, Nido King isn't going to be able to really do much. Alright, so we'll go with Starmie. Um... Zapdos, and... Charizard. This is it, the semi-final! Nido King won't be able to do anything. Having come this far. And that's the problem. Because it doesn't have any rock-type moves, unfortunately. Um... <sighs> Alright, we'll just go with a Surf. Yeah, Alakazams are usually speedy, and hopefully this will not lower my special. Okay, good. Come on, we need a crit or something. All right, um. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Well, let's just keep up, keep up the surfs. I, I think Thunder will do about the same. What'll it do? Amount of damage, cause my Starmie is not an electric type. Unless it gets a crit. But, uh, I ain't too confident about that. Alright. So now we just need Starmie to, well, not have a crit hit this. Or have this get a crit. Alright. Unfortunately, we keep our special, and we should take this thing out. All right, so one down. What will the next Pokemon if he, be? If he puts in Zapdos, that could really come to bite me. All right, oh, Executor. Um, it has to make up for lost ground. The remaining Pokemon count is three <sighs> to two. This battle is still up in the air. Um, I'm probably not going to risk it. Um, I'm gonna go for a Thunder. Down. I'm gonna go for a thunder, see if I can paralyze it, maybe. What now? Alright, we got a little damage in. What this? I was gonna switch to Charizard, yeah, but I didn't want to risk oh, is it down and out? risk it possibly getting a crit or special Which lowered. Is coming out? And then that could have been really bad. Oh, it's Charizard! How will the type difference affect that? Alright, come on, Char, let's do this. Fire blast! Yes! Well, okay, didn't finish it, but uh alright. What'll it do? A savage hit! Um the heated battle! Alright, we're gonna on. We're gonna fly up into the air here. We're not gonna use another fire blast and it possibly missed, but fly! could miss too, because Fly is not 100% accurate. I think it's 95. So... It's gonna be critical. We hit this. Yes. Alright, who's the last one? And I am hoping it's not Zapdos. Okay, good. Oh, it's Charizard! It's uh, Charizard. Who the was my last? Alright, Zapdos, yes. The tenth battle continues. Alright, I'm gonna go for the sword stance. Um... Alright, he's gonna fly. <clears throat> so yeah, his Charizard... ...is going to have the speed advantage here. Unfortunately, so even if I fly, he could fly up too, and then yeah. What now? A 
decent hit! See, watch, I'm probably gonna fly up. And you up into the sky. Now, if I was him, I'd probably fly up too, just to dodge it. Yes, he does, see? It blew up again. So, yeah. Not too good. Vigorous attack! Oops, that's a miss! I probably should have flew up with him that first turn, so that is going to come back to hurt me. But my last one, fortunately, is Zapdos. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to have the speed advantage or not. Oh, it's Zapdos! There's just one Pokemon aside now. Let's... The battle is coming right yes, it doesn't. Uh... Alright, not too much damage. I think we should be able to do this. Ah! I don't think... No. Alright, if he gets a crit, he might take me out. But hopefully he doesn't, but we'll see. Alright. So we'll survive that, and we can just finish off Charizard and, uh, that's Battle 7. And there goes the battle. Yeah, if, if I would have lost that, it would have been because I didn't use Fly right away on the turn he sent out Charizard, so... Because I knew right away, as soon as he flew up... That's, yeah, I mean, I figured he'd have the speed advantage, but, uh, whatever, we won. And we're gonna go against the last battle, which is, again, the old man. So, yes, here he's got an Articuno and a Moltres. And a level 55 Dragonite. Okay, so either his, you, you can only have, if you have 155 in your, in, on your or in your party to battle, then the other two pokes that you send out have to be to level 50s because they cannot surpass some. Um, what was it? They cannot surpass 255 in total. And if you go 55 plus 50 is uh, 105, and then Lapras 50. That's 155. Actually, no, that's what it is. 155, not 255. But anyways, so yeah, so we gotta take this down. And I'm trying to think who I'm going to send. Um, we have no ice types, so if Dragonite comes out, that could be a real problem. So I'm hoping his Lapras comes out, um, well, this is a tough choice. We'll go with Zapdos, King. An Alakazam, so let's go for the last battle here in the Poke Cup Master Ball. This is it, the final battle! You will bask in the glory of the championship! And yes, as you see, Dragonite comes out. Um, we're gonna immediately paralyze it. That's what we're first gonna do. Get you Thunderway! So, our goal is to... Wow, we both used it. So, this is going to be very interesting. To see how this all plays out. So, I'm just going to go for the uh, T-Bolts. Hopefully, I get a, a crit. No, I don't, but that does quite a lot. Alright, so he's only got Dragon Rage to really use against Zapdos. Alright, come on, Zapdos. We just need to, uh... We just need to shake this off. Oh, he's switching. But who to? Wow. That's an interesting... Yes, we get it off. He probably was hoping... And you see, this Articuno is darker blue, but because of the nickname, but you... But I, I believe he thought I was going to get fully paralyzed, and so, yeah, that Nidoking was a 
risk or not be okay. But that sitting in Alakazam was a big risk. Um, I'm going to save my Zapdos. Definitely gonna save it. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Alakazam! Alright, now it could freeze me, and that would be extremely bad. That would be extremely bad. Fortunately, we make it through. Wow, that actually did not do too much damage. It still did half. But, uh, still all good. So we can. What's that? More than likely finish off Articuno. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's so I think we may have what this. Will the next Pokemon be? Pretty much, really. Oh, Alright, Jolteon. How will the type difference affect that? Gonna switch. Tornado King. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Oh, it's Nidoking! <laughs> and, yeah, like I said, the Paralysis moves are really the most common forms of status elements used in the first gen, the stadium. What Now, if I was him, I probably would have switched back into Dragonite. But we should be able to, yes, finish it. Alright, so with Dragonite, um... There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Being left, we should have no problem, but, um... There's nothing left in reserve. The only thing I can do... The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. Um... The battle has become one-sided. The only thing I can do is go for a Rage. And if he hits me, my attack power will increase, but, uh... What's this? It just shrugged off that hit! We'll see how this all works out. Oh, sir. Try that sir! Wow! That's an effective hit! Alright. And it's down! So we're not totally out of the woods this yet. Pokemon is coming out! And this is going to come to a paralysis duel. Here's a Pokemon duel. We're both paralyzed, two to one. and it's gonna be who's gonna come out of the paralysis. It's okay, so we need one more turn. Unfortunately, I I got fortunate that time, and there you go. That should do it, and it's over. We've cleared the entire Poke Cup. This being Master Ball. So yeah, didn't lose it all that time. And Yeah. So yeah, the entire uh, Poke Cup is cleared, and that means the only thing left to do in round one is to take on the Prime Cup, which is four different ones again, Poke Cup, Bright Ball, Ultra Ball, and the Master Ball, which I'm going to get my team up to level 100. It can be 1 to 100, but I'm doing 100 anyway. Or actually, no, I think the, their entire team would be 100 anyway, even if you got level 70s, they'd still have level 100. There you go, Master Ball is cleared, which clears the entire Poke Cup for round one. And it uh, doing that unlocks the Doduo Game Boy. It speeds up the Game Boy and the Game Boy Tower by like two times. So you can go two times faster in the game. And there you go, a cool little Doduo in the screen. So, going back into the stadium, the last thing in round one. This does not complete the game. We still have to take on the Prime Cup, which is next. And then, well, something special is going to be coming up for those of you guys that are new to Stadium. And then we have to take on Round 2, where everything gets completely insane with difficulty. So, yeah. But next time, we're going to be going against the Prime Cup. It's going to be level 100 Pokemon. So, it's going to be an awesome 
battle, and I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. It means so much you guys tune in to watch my videos. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe even comment and favorite. It helps other people find this awesome classical series. So, until the next time, for episode 20, where we will be taking on the Prime Cup, I'm Zephyr Sonic, and I will catch you next time. Oh, I'm Zephyr Sonic for TGM.TV, and I will see you next time.